Welcome back guys, it's the Tightwad and I'm on a quest to find the best beach sunshade available. I want lightweight, I want easy to put up, I want, it doesn't matter what kind of wind we have. Today to try to accomplish that, we're gonna be talking about the Sun Ninja. We just got back from the beach where I tried out a few different tents and today this is the one I'm going to go more in depth about. I wanted to talk to you here because the wind at the beach makes it very hard to record and get good audio. I'm also gonna show you all the contents of the package today and tell you what I like or don't like about it. I did reach out to Sun Ninja on social media. They did send this to me for free, but I promise to give my honest thoughts. They're not paying me for the review. They're not approving this video before I post it. So this is the Sun Ninja, it comes in a bag. I think it weighs about 10 pounds, but I will put it on a scale to check just for you. So the instructions just say to fill the sandbags as much as possible. Uh, they will continue to stretch, so continue to put more sand in them until they stretch completely. Assemble the aluminum poles, so those are in here. If you're using just two poles, it does want you to put the two poles on the direction the wind is coming from. Um, place up the poles with the foam ball facing up, I'll show you that in just a minute. Stretch out the four sandbags even farther once you have everything up, and then use the bungees to go around the top of the balls. And I'll show you all that once I've set up the tent in the beach video. So this is how the poles are stored. I'm going to pull this off. This is the bungee that you need later. The poles are just like tent poles. So they snap together. They have a bungee in the middle of them to keep them keep you from losing parts and so that you don't have to figure out what order they go in. I'm about 5'10". The poles are six and a half feet tall. So you can get them six and a half feet up. Typically once they're in the sand, honestly, the tent's about six feet off the ground. Once you have the sandbags full, you put this in under the fabric like you see in the video I'm showing, and then you put this around and cinch it down around the ball to hold everything in place. Wanted to show you the fabric for the Sun Ninja. I chose the blue color because I thought it would be the best for the beach. They do have their logo pretty large on one side. It's only on one side of the tent. Um, but the, this fabric is super stretchy. So the more sand you add into the pockets, the more it's gonna stretch. Uh, it's also stretchy so that when the wind blows, it doesn't tear. The seams are super well done. We used this for two days on the beach. One day was very high wind and it held up just fine. Uh, the sand goes in these little bags on the end of these long things. I like that when it comes up to the top, there isn't a seam until where you would put the pole. So there's nothing to rip in between here because this part does stretch out pretty thin while you're filling it up with sand. So I'm very happy with it, it's super well made. This says up to 50 FPF, which is important whenever you're looking at a sunshade. Uh, some of the other canopy tents, like the ones that you see at craft shows, have a higher UPF rating, uh, but they're a lot more uh, difficult to take places. So I'm gonna show you what else is in the bag. Here's the other bag for poles. Also, there's another little bag for four tent stakes. This allows you to set it up in the grass. So at the beach, of course, you're dumping the sand in the bags, but you can set it up on any grass surface by stretching them out and staking them on the end of the sand pockets there's a little tag where you would put the stake through and then stretch it out tight i had a thought if you're ever on a concrete surface you could bring weights i have plate weights for my home gym that i could bring and stick in there i'd probably take like a 15 or 20 pound plate weight and put in the bag then you could set it up on concrete too you just have to find some way to anchor it down it also comes with a little shovel uh, my kids love playing with us on the beach but it's made to fill up the sand in the bags on the beach easier than your hands because you can scoop it super fast with this. So a great addition to the bag. And last but not least, they come with four extra bungee ties that hold the tent to the stakes. This is a sped up version of my daughters and me setting up the Sun Ninja at the beach. This is the second day I set it up, so I already had a general idea. Uh, you pull the four corners out as far as you can to make an X on the beach. And then you begin filling them. It comes with a nice little shovel you can use to scoop the sand in the bag. So I had my daughters using that while I was just scooping it with my hands. You do need to fill the bags completely up. You'll notice that front left one is sliding a little bit with the stronger wind that was coming through this morning. Uh, but once I filled the bag up completely, it stopped sliding. One thing that's really nice about the Sun Ninja compared to other brands is you can use two poles on the side that the wind's coming in or you have two other poles you can put on the other side to make a full canopy. So I always start with those two poles on the windy side and then put the other two up afterwards.
Once the poles are all in, pull your sandbags tight to hold everything steady. I wanted to bring you in for a little closer view of how I set it up. You'll notice that the pole is positioned farther to the left here. That's the side that the wind is coming in. And I wanted to create that flat edge so the wind comes in a little bit easier. Uh, if you put it in the middle, it creates a little bit of a lip on the edges like a regular canopy tent. You also see how much we fill up these sandbags. As you fill them up, they continue to stretch. So you continue to add sand. The directions say to add sand until they're overflowing. This tent is about six feet tall, so if you're taller than that, you may have to duck just a little bit, but that's pretty standard for all sunshades. This is actually one of the taller ones available. This one performed really well in all wind speeds. So I'm just gonna give you my plain and true thoughts on the Sun Ninja. I asked people down the beach, I asked my family. We had 19 people at the beach, some were kids, so I didn't ask their opinion, but I asked all of the adults what they thought about the Sun Ninja versus the other two options we had, and they loved the Sun Ninja. Uh, they said it was the one that they would purchase. It was retails for about $159 right now for the larger size that we got. Um, I would definitely buy the Sun Ninja again. It was my favorite beach tent. I'll go ahead and say that on this video. I'm gonna do another video comparing the three different options that we had on the beach that day. I give it a good rating for size. It's not too big. It's smaller than a sleeping bag, uh, smaller than a pillow. You can throw it in the car. I'm not worried about it getting damaged because there are no parts in it, no hinges that could get broken if something gets pressed on it. Uh, the poles are nice and sturdy. The fabric's super stretchy. It looks like it's pretty durable. Uh, seems like it's gonna stay clean. Again, I've only had it on one beach trip out for two days in the sun. Uh, it did provide enough shade to keep us cool during the day. Uh, it provided just as much shade as our craft 10 by 10 tent that we typically take. Uh, as far as setup goes, you could do it by yourself. It's better if you have a couple of people, but you could absolutely do it by yourself. I think setup time once you're all in is about 15 minutes on this tent. Key is make sure you fill the sandbags completely up if it's extremely high winds, dig a little hole and bury the sandbag. That's what other people told me they do. We didn't have to do that when we were at the beach and we had pretty high winds one day where people were taking down the craft show style tents because they didn't want them broken. So I hope you guys like this video. Make sure you check out the follow-up videos I'm gonna link at the end. One will have the comparison of the three different tents. I'm also gonna post a review of a couple other tents too. So let me know what you guys think in the comments, post any questions you have. If there's a different sunshade that you want me to try, send me the name of it in the comments and I'll reach out to the company and see if they're willing to work with me. Thanks guys. Thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. It'd be awesome if you'd click that logo in the bottom left hand corner to subscribe to my channel and maybe even check out one of my other videos shown on the right. As always, I hope you guys have a great day.